what is up guys welcome back to another destiny 2 video with today's topic of looking into the wellspring perk that was first introduced back in beyond light and seeing how well affairs against other perks that provide the same ability regen the new perk is quite an interesting one as it can cover and provide a cooldown onto your grenades melee and class ability in one go and can allow users to cover all their abilities without needing to rely on two separate perks to achieve this Depending on what your build is, this can be incredibly useful for enhancing your abilities further and provide more customization compared to needing a singular perk or mod to achieve this. Now, the perk can be found on a small majority of the Europa, Season of the Hunt and Season 12 weapons, etc. and appears in the last slot of the following weapons they are on. This means that you can have the Demolitions perk and Wellspring perk on one weapon to create a very powerful setup. On most weapons this can roll in, the perk can be paired up with some really great roll and thus enhancing the whole the weapon to feel like a mini exotic. For example, the High Alberto sidearm can roll this perk with full auto, Ambitious Assassin, Killing Wind, or Surplus in the third slot. While on the Thermal Erosion, it can roll with the Fill Prep or Zen Moment in its designated slots, all of these being great perks to roll that can roll on different weapons in game. How the Wellspring perk works is very simple. Getting kills with the perk active will generate energy to either 1, 2 or all 3 of your abilities depending on what has been used and for this, this is down to dividing each of the energy separately. Firstly, if you have used one ability and the other two abilities are still full, then the wellspring perk will kick in and provide you with a 8% energy for that slot per kill you get. Now when you go ahead and use 2 abilities you get 4% back and then all 3 you get 2.7 back. Each time you use your abilities, depending on how many have been used, you'll be getting X percentage out of it and will keep doing this until either 1 or 2 your abilities are full again. Now the perk may sound too good to be true when you think of the applications it can be applied to. So I tried using the Hailing Confusion Pulse Rifle with the perk and ran the Per Edition Lost Sector on Europa with a 70 stat in just Discipline and compared it against the Demolitious perk on my Achilles SMG as a basic test of coverage onto how good they can improve one area of abilities. From the testing, I found that it took roughly 78 kills to get my grenades back with the Wellspring perk, while using the demo perk allowed me to get it back within 5 to 6 kills. This may sound lacking when compared to using the Demolitions perk that provides 10% per kill made for primaries, and then 20% bonus on secondaries alone, and you're right when you look into this for singular focus ability perks that offer more compared to the latter. What you have to be aware of though is that the perk is more better on a grander scale when covering two or all three abilities at once, and that's where you get the most out of it. The perk compared to others isn't simply designed to be used bare bones, but rather to be combined with mods or exotics that can help boost your overall abilities in one go. If we take the Heart of Inmost Light and its design, the exotic will boost one ability that has been used for another and pushes the player to rotate between all of their abilities at once to get the full benefit. This here is where the Wellspring perk will be able to fit in perfectly as it encourages you to use all the abilities for a constant regen for all even though the payoff is quite low. You have to play within the current strengths of the perk and not use it on its own but rather combine it with mods that will help boost all or singular stats or use an exotic that boosts all of your abilities. I've also noticed that this can be useful in PvP as you could have two Wellspring based perk weapons and combine this with a subclass or exotic that both utilizes melee and grenades, then you can see that both of your stats or just one can be covered in all situations. Another pro about the perk is that the Monte Carlo is the only weapon that buffs just the melee stat in game when you actively play it, so it's a great alternative to use if you don't have that weapon at all and want to focus on a melee centric build only. The perk is good if you don't want to use a specific exotic that can boost a singular ability or if you don't have the necessary mods to boost your build in general and you want something that is flexible but buildable around at the same time. It can cover selected areas well once you add in armor pieces and mods etc but it's not overall groundbreaking and something you need to have as it's better to be used when you have other things contributing to your stats as well but it's nice to have around for filling in any missing gaps that you're not able to fill in from your end. So if you enjoyed the video then do please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you do that type of stuff link is down below. But once again thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one.